Boilerplate code is a section of code that has to be included in uh, many places without alteration. We use it to achieve uh, minimal functionality in our problems uh, by doing some setup beforehand. In its default configuration, Dynamo creates a minimal boilerplate code for you. It has a default import block that lets you use the design script objects like point, line, etc and the body section where uh, you put uh, your code between the inputs and the out or output default variable. Some of the benefits of using boilerplate code are you have everything ready to start working your default imports, common functions and classes that you use you also reduce complexity by helping maintain a common structure in your nodes this helps readability, because remember that many times you will spend more time reading code and trying to understand it uh, than writing it. Let's create a boilerplate code template for Dynamo 2 and above. First close Dynamo to make sure that you can edit the settings file and then open uh, Windows Explorer and go to the app data folder for your active user. You can use the following shortcut to access the app data folder, get into the Dynamo folder, Dynamo Revit, and then go to the version of Dynamo that you are using. Remember that the, the, the templating only works on Dynamo versions 2 and above. We will edit version 2.6, which is the one corresponding to Revit 2021. So first thing, open Dynamo Settings XML and look for the key Python template file path. It will be empty so we're going to paste a string key with the path and the file name of our template which is python template.py OK, so we save. Next we open Dynamo. Create a new graph. And if we create a new Python script node, we will see that our boilerplate code is placed within the node. 